This is Twit. Well, I have I have a problem here. Uh, I had a friend come and help me, and uh, he didn't really help me. I had a bunch of movies on an ex- an external hard drive, and because I don't like my kids playing with my DVDs. <laughs> yeah. And, no, it's great if you've got young kids, you put them on a hard drive and put the DVD aside. Right. And you've got a master you can always make a copy of. And and we also like to, like, we do little camping trips in the backyard, and I can take the laptop out there and just the external hard drive and play it. Yeah. I don't, I don't have to bring out my DVDs. Yeah. So my friend came over and accidentally, finger quotes, formatted my external hard drive. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> he didn't do it on. He he actually he actually he actually felt really bad and spent thirty dollars on a program to try and recover it. Uh, uh, I don't I'd know feel I bad too, but how do you accidentally format a drive? Because I I think he was trying to format the the DVD. Or oh, don't invite him over anymore. Yeah, and it, he was just in the wrong place. So he spent thirty dollars on uh, this this site that he found, and we yeah. ran it, and it didn't work. The only thing it did find was some document that I had already gotten rid of, but all yeah. my movies are gone. Wow. So the reason that is is because uh, an erase just changes the first letter of the file name and then says to the operating system, this is available for reuse. So erasing files doesn't erase any data, generally speaking. Format's a little more tricksy because it now erases the table of contents. It doesn't overwrite everything, usually. Uh, so some of the data will be there. Maybe that $30 program's not smart enough to get all the data back, or maybe the data was in some way damaged and can't be retrieved. Um, there are free programs that will do that. Is that what you're asking how to do it? Yes, I need. I, I don't want to have to rip and shrink and everything all over again. Yeah, well, let's I try. I mean, 20, I can't... 25 movies on there. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, that's a pain. You've got the masters, though. That's the good news. Yes, yes. So I recommend a program called Recover. If this can't recover it, it nothing it can. Not. That's that's the one he got. Ah. And the only thing, because this was a used hard drive, and it had a bunch of uh, documents and things like that, so I formatted it and put all my movies on it. That's fine. The, the only thing that Recover uh, brought back up is one document from originally, I mean years ago. <laughs> all my movies are gone. <laughs> Now, I, mean, I, I, have I don't know why things. he bought it, because it's free, but, um, okay. Yeah, I don't, because he felt bad. He wanted the professional version, and it's $25. Make sure, I'm a little nervous that he didn't get it from the right spot. If you Google Recover, you see a lot of other places that offer it that aren't the right place to get it. Okay. So get, try going to piriform.com. This is so important, folks. We say it almost every show, always Get always download these programs from the original source, not these other sites. In fact, you'll see two ads on Google from other locations, Wondershare and Software Watcher. The reason they're willing to pay money to get you to download a free program is because they're going to put extra adware on top of that. So always go to this company that and same thing, download.com offers it, file hippo. Don't get it from those places. Figure out who created the program, the publisher, in this case, Piriform, and get it directly from them. Get it directly from them. So I don't, I'm going to presume he did, but maybe he didn't, in which case he might have gotten an old one. He may have also installed something on your system that you don't want. Your friend should not be invited to touch your si You can have him as a friend. <laughs> Just don't let him touch your system anymore. So it's P I R I. Period. Yep. com. Yep, they make a lot of very nice utilities. the The free version of Recover just doesn't come with support. That's all. Okay. But that's fine. It does everything it did, um, and that's a good free uh, freeware program for recovery. If it can't, then that means the format deleted. As you know, something. You make sure you go enable deep. You know. Your friend did it. Don't this guy's a nitwit. Do do it yourself. Make sure you do the enable deep scan because it has to. It can't look at what it's looking at is a table of contents. It can't look at that because that's been erased. The okay. file allocation table's gone. So um, yeah, I just find it crazy that it found some eight year old document instead of all my movies that were put on a couple of years ago. Yeah, that's odd. That's odd. So I'm wondering if I just have to redo everything. If he did a full format, then he erased everything. Oh, man, it, it was quick. It was quick? Good. It was 
quick. The quicker, yeah, I mean, the better. The quick format doesn't erase anything. It just I mean, it, it was it was done uh, in a matter of seconds, yeah. but to restore it for, through this uh, it took program, hours. Yeah. it took six hours. Yeah, and it found nothing. Yeah, it says I have all my memory available. There's nothing on it. Yeah, uh, do the recover. Uh, and do a thorough deep scan and get it from the right right place. I gotta emphasize that for people. Hey, th- uh, good luck. I'm sorry. That's if that doesn't work, then you're you're gonna have to re rip. No, oh, man. You know how long that takes. I know. <laughs> okay. I know. The quick format is quick, and that me- that's because it doesn't erase anything. It just rewrites the table of contents. The table of contents is not needed to recover the data. The data is still there, but it's a lot more time-consuming to recover it because you have to figure out which sectors go with which and so forth. And do not, as somebody in the chat room said, I think you would know this, Paul, but worth saying, always recover to a different drive, not the original. Because as you recover, if you recover to the same drive, you're erasing what you're as you're recovering. You don't want to do that. 